latest episode of the Honda Case Swap. My name is Steven Vincent, and well, not in the blur today, I'm in the turbo ship box. Let's do a quick update on where we're at with the car and uh, what's next. So let's see. We haven't driven the car yet. We had quite a few problems with the clutch hydraulic system. I don't know if it was a combination of trying to use a random clutch master cylinder from a different vehicle uh, and it couldn't hold the pressure or if it was like a bore size issue, but I thought, no, I'm pretty sure I had the 5 8 bore for the clutch master cylinder and for whatever reason it was internally bypassing when we were trying to bleed the clutch. So. Uh, it turns out I found a clutch mass cylinder that has to work because it's a Honda clutch mass cylinder. So um, we're gonna, I, I got one coming in the mail. We'll see if it works. I can't imagine why it wouldn't. Um, it does have a clutch right off the back, which is a good thing because the one we were just trying to use didn't. And I had to cobble fapple something together to make that work. Let's see where else. So once we get the clutch situation sorted, we should be able to drive the car. However, in speaking with Rick at Haltech, you're the man, by the way, um, we are trying to figure out why we weren't getting a vehicle speed to the ECU, which then would be displayed to the IQ3. And, um, well, it turns out the signal wire, which I believe was white with the orange stripe, or it could have been white with the green stripe, they both looked the same to me because of my color vision. Well, it was pinned wrong in the bulkhead fitting, and uh, that's totally on me. So, what I decided to do is I went on ahead and pulled the wiring harness out of the Fiero and the two sub harnesses in the interior to the ECU, and I'm going through those pin by pin with them connected so I can make sure the wires are where they're supposed to be. When I get that done, I'm gonna loose, I'm gonna try to bundle the wiring a little bit better so it looks a little cleaner in the engine bay and um, get that process started because you know once once I get the car running and driving I'm literally dropping the cradle and that's when I'll go through and you know clean paint organize get the wiring done up real nice all that good stuff let's see what else we needed to do oh yeah the brakes the Fiero brake cables, the emergency brake cables, actually have the correct ends on them to work with my spot parking brake caliper. So that was a good happenstance that it works. So I'm really pleased with that. However, it is going to require custom link uh, parking brake cables, but that's no big deal. I'll uh, get in touch with my guys over there at uh, California Push Pool tell them the exact links I need and get some parking brake cap, uh, cables ordered. I am going to go ahead and replace the front one as well, which is from the lever to the adjustment, just so everything's brand new. Oh yeah, we got to replace the key lock, the ignition lock in the Fiero. Sometimes it wants to twist, sometimes it doesn't, and the key is so worn out that it literally can come out of the ignition whether running or just randomly fall out. So uh, yeah. We, we got to get that replaced as well. But yeah, I want to give you an update. I don't know how long it's going to be before we have another episode of the case swap. I might do some filming of what I'm doing and what I'm working on. Or I might add this into the next video. I don't know. But um, yeah, I want to give you an update on all that. Here's another good one. Not this month because it's August. And I haven't forgotten how damn hot Florida gets in August. Mm -hmm. We don't go outside in Florida in August if you don't have to. So, probably toward the end of September, I will be heading down to Panama City, Florida to go see my car, which I haven't seen in two years. It's crazy to think, like, where's all that time gone in two years? Um, I've got the axles ordered for my car. Hopefully they will already be there by the time I go visit. Might see some footage of me driving my car. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but I am getting on Antonio and him pretty hard because um, I want my car. Let's be honest. And my time 
is running out to be able to drive my car before inclement weather hits here in West Virginia. That car will never go out while there's salt on the roads. It's just not going to happen. So I literally have two months, maybe three months before I'd ha literally have to put the car away for the winter anyway. So uh, it's either now or sometime, what, after Easter next year probably. So, ooh, let's hope it's not that, but we all know my... Uh, my luck when it comes to such things so we'll see but yeah that's a quick update on what's going on and uh we'll see where this footage falls if i get something put together for the next video otherwise it'll be a little while because uh, there's no sense popping out a video if you know it's just buttoning up minor odds and ends because really i'd like the next video to be me driving a car so if you're watching this video and it's pretty long and it says first drive then this was filmed quite a while ago. If not, and it doesn't say first drive, then that means I've figured out a few more things I'd like to document and put up, um, and then we'll see. So uh, anyway, we'll see what happens in the next couple of seconds, so, right? What are we doing here? Well, obviously the video is continuing. I am working on the wiring, got to sort out the pigtail, for the vehicle speed sensor and I also need to double check the wiring in the bulkhead fittings. Uh, I think I think I've got the VSS pinned incorrectly because uh, this wire right here is the signal wire and it's not matching up in the bulkhead fitting which I believe was this one. So. Something else I've got to check is I'm just going to go through and make sure all these are the same and uh, see what's what. So let's get working.
right, after several hours of working on this wiring harness, this is where we're at. It's bundled up a lot nicer. Now I am just using tape on this. I want to get some convoluted uh, split loom, make it look really nice. But, man, looks a lot better than it did a few minutes ago. Well, at least in this video, we're talking hours in real time. So the good news is I went down the entire list. And this is just for the A and B plugs. But checked off all the ones that I did a continuity test on. I didn't do the E connector because that's actually in the car. Uh, and runs all the stuff to the car. <laughs> that's all body side stuff. But we will check that. But yeah, everything checked out. Nothing was pinned wrong. Which is surprising and a bit disconcerting at the same time. Because we weren't getting a VSS signal all the way to the ECU, but I did check uh, continuity tests and everything all the way back from, where is it? Where is that vehicle speed sensor? Yeah, from the vehicle speed sensor all the way back through the bulkheads into, I believe it's pin A18, and we had signal. So, we'll see if when I put it back in the car it works. See you next time. I hate brake fluid. That's good.